Hi and welcome. In this video we will explain in detail the features of the Devices tab as well as all the available settings for the Maniscore dashboard. In the Devices panel you can see all the devices you have currently connected. You can see all dongles connected, all gloves paired to a dongle, all gloves connected wired, all gloves ready to be paired to a dongle and all the trackers currently connected. You can also see the skeletal view of the hands and the data driving them. When there is a new firmware available for your connected devices, an exclamation icon will inform you about this. There are two views for the main viewport, hands view and scene view. The hands view has a glove mode and a data mode. And if you're using haptic gloves, there's also a haptics mode. The glove mode lets you look at your virtual hands. The data mode lets you look at the data driving your virtual hands. Each of the bars relates to the angle of one of the joints in your hand. When using the haptics mode, you can experience the vibrotactile feedback on each of your fingers. Simply click one of the actuators to experience the localized tactile feedback. You can also test different levels of intensity of feedback using the slide. The scene view lets you look at an entire character with live tracking data being applied to it. When you select a glove, its details will show up below it. You can see the glove ID, firmware versions, as well as the hardware revision. You also have the ability to unpair your glove from the dongle it is currently connected to. Furthermore, you can start the individual glove calibration in this panel. For more information about calibrating your medic gloves, watch the Madness Quantum Medic Gloves calibration video. For more information about calibrating the Prime Series gloves, check out the Madness Prime X Series glove calibration explained video. After you calibrate your quantum medic gloves, the calibration is stored in your user profile. When you select the dongle, its details will be shown below, just like with the gloves. Here you can see the ID of your dongle, the firmware it is currently running, as well as the license it is holding. In the settings panel, you can adjust certain features of the Maniscore dashboard. The Maniscore dashboard uses your window scaling settings to determine how large UI elements should be. If you want to adjust the size of the interface elements independent of your window scaling, simply use the drop down menu to select a different UI skill. Whether you're looking at the Maniscore dashboard on a large TV from far away in your mocap space or you're sitting behind your desk, you can easily see and use the Maniscore dashboard. If you want to visualize your hands or full body in VR, make sure that the Render to VR headset checkbox is on. Scale Skeleton lets you translate your physical dimensions to the hand skeleton or full body avatar. Turn off this option to go back to the default dimensions. Render when non-focused controls if Maniscore will render the viewport when the application does not have focus in Windows. Maniscore Connection lets you choose from which Maniscore instance you want to receive data. You can choose to auto-connect or to only be able to connect to Maniscore running on the same computer as the Maniscore dashboard. In the hardware section, you can turn on the option to force firmware update. In case your device got disconnected during firmware update and did not update correctly, you can go through the installation process again if you check this box on. In the glove section, you can disable the Prime Series IMU data. The Manus Prime 2 and X Series gloves use two kinds of sensors, orientation sensors and bend sensors. If you experience sensor drift, you can decide to disable the orientation sensors. With these settings, you can select to only use the bending sensor data. For the Manus Quantum Meta gloves, you can disable the pinch correction. In this section, you can also adjust the 3D hand orientation. The hand rotation slider allows you to rotate the visualization of the digital hand in the hand viewer. With this setting, you can make the finger articulation more visible when looking at your digital hand. In the tracking section, you can configure the tracker's behavior in case they lose connection. Keep tracker position lets you retain the last known tracker position in the viewport after it loses connection. If the option Tracker Timeout is on, the trackers that lost connection will disappear from the viewport. With the Tracker Timeout time, you can set the amount of time that will pass before that happens. In the Tracking Systems section, you can configure the tracking system you are using to track the position and orientation of your hands or body. You can choose your tracking system, its updates per second and, if needed, port. You can also refresh if you don't see your tracking system yet. 
in the recording section, you can configure the triggered recording settings for OptiTrack Motive, Peel Capture, Vicon Shogun, and Qualysys QTM. Here, you can also enable the automatic save of your recordings and the target folder for them. Menace Core has a built-in timecode functionality. In Interface, you can choose the device you are currently plugged into. If you do not see your device, you can refresh the list and try again. The Genlock functionality is turned on by default, but can be disabled. If the option Keep Interface Alive is on, your device will automatically reconnect if you disconnect and plug it in again. At the bottom of the settings panel, you can see the Menace Core version you are currently using. Menace Core is a background application which can be accessed through the system tray. When you right click on the Menace icon, you will see a couple of different options. You can launch the Menace Core dashboard. You can also restart Menace Core. When you hover your cursor over more, you will see a few additional options. You can open the dev tools where you can set up your characters for retargeting with Menace Core. Disable client session timeout prevents sessions from timing out. This is especially useful when debugging an application while developing with the Menace Core SDK. If you experience a Menace Core crash, you can compress all the logs into a zip to send to our support. You can open the settings folder where all the settings and log files are stored. You can reset the settings to the installation state. About shows you which version you are running without the need to open the Menace Core dashboard. Finally, Exit fully closes Manus Core and its background applications.